New research offers clues about preterm births, which are defined as birth before 37 weeks. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine identified for the very first time six key genes linked to babies born before full term. Almost 10 percent of babies in this country are born prematurely. Think about that number for just a second. And it's the leading cause of death in children under the age of five. Our Dr. David Agus is here with how this discovery could lead to healthier babies all around. Good morning to you. Number one, it's good to have you at the table. It's like I you're a real boy. We can touch you in person. Great to see you, Dr. David Agus. Real boy. I am a real boy. boy. You're uh -oh. a real boy. Yes. That's from Pinocchio. Okay. I know you know that. Okay, this is big news. This is great news. It is uh, enormous. Yeah. I mean, you know, 10% of babies in the United States born preterm. And preterm babies, obviously, risk of death, but many other issues going on in life. Mm -hmm. And if for now we can identify who's going to be preterm, we can tell you, listen, you can't give birth at home or you can't give birth in a community hospital. You're going to have to go to a place with an ICU. And now that we know these genes, one of the genes is involved in selenium regulation. Mm -hmm. And multivitamins, for example, prenatal vitamins, don't have selenium in them. So all of a sudden could lead to major changes. But how were you able to identify the genes? That's also a very big, very interesting story. So the answer clearly is heroes, is that women said, take my genetic information. And so these were women, predominantly from 23andMe tests, mm -hmm. who said, listen, take my information and learn from it. I want to be part of the solution, not the problem. And so they stepped up over 50,000 women and looked at these genes and they correlated it to when the child was born. And six genes now associated with preterm birth are out there. David, when I saw this story pop last night mm -hmm. online, I immediately clicked on it because I'm interested too, is, is gene therapy essentially the future of medicine? I think targeting genes in this case is probably rather than correcting genes, but yes, is that right now all of a sudden we have the Rosetta Stone to all of us. And so instead of one size fits all, instead of waiting and saying, oh my gosh, I'm in preterm labor, let me rush to the hospital, we're going to know in advance what's going to happen. And so knowledge is key. But in fact, gene therapy is a significant part of the frontier of medicine, is it not? No question about it. Gene therapy in terms of cancer and other diseases is going to be big and important. It's very hard to do gene therapy and change all the genes in the body. It's easier to change one particular cell type. And so in order to change a whole body, it's going to be difficult. But in this case, knowing that one of them is a uterine protein, for example, that we may be able to alter to allow a woman to go to full term can radically change maternal and neonatal health. Thanks, David. Yeah, Great to have you. Really important information. Thank you, David. Thank you, Good to have you here.